there exists a really amazing relationship between the orbiting planets in the sky and the mathematics of the constant that we call pi. And a fancy name, it's not my name, but it's being used, is called pi in the sky. And it's not just pi, it's, there's actually incredible information about phi, P-H-I, 1.618, the orbit of Venus in relation to the Earth is a phi relationship. But this little lecture here is about where does pi exist in the circumferencing circumference orbits of the planet. So I got this diagram. This information comes from a really special series of books. You can see there's like 12 books here. They're called the Wooden Book Series. And these inspired people like myself. A whole generation of researchers like myself have been inspired. This is perhaps the, the first one that I got called A Little Book of Coincidence by John Martineau. And if you, um, when I go through this book, when I go through this book, you can see that there's about 60 pages showing these incredible diagrams between pi, phi, yeah. And the other, some of the other books is, this is my favorite book called The Golden Section by Olson, Scott Olson. And I travel around the world with this. So you can see that no matter where you look in this book, there's such powerful psychoactive diagrams of the golden ratio. Um, yeah, and charts and powers of phi. Um, the mathematics of flowers. So this has been my main book that I travel with whenever I go overseas. We've also got things on symmetry, sacred geometry. There's also amazing little booklets on the platonic solids and that. So just wanted to let you know, most people say, yeah, I've already got the, I've seen these books. So they're quite inspiring. So I'm going to start off with um, Mars. Here's the symbol for Mars, which we all know, the male symbol, like an arrow. So this is the orbit of Mars. So Mars around, the, we'll call this the Sun. So as is Mars, as Mars is orbiting around the Sun, it has a certain circumference or length. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up this circumference like it was a shoelace or a string. And then what it's going to do is that, that distance here is going to become the radius. So that line I've just drawn now is going to become the radius for Saturn. So let's draw the orbit. So as Saturn's going around the sun, we have two planets that we're focusing on now. So this is the orbit of Saturn. So Saturn, let's say Saturn was here, and that's its symbol. It's a cross with a, the symbol of the soul, the semicircle below it. So Saturn takes much longer. It takes like, say, 30 years to go around and it has a certain length. But what's interesting is that the circumference of Mars unraveled becomes the radius of Saturn and that's a pi relationship pi so I've called it Mars's orbits its circumference is equal to the uh, the radius of Saturn so that's one example but there exists another similar example so this time we're going to look at um, Saturn this time so we're going to put the Sun here and as Saturn goes around the Sun it takes 30 years to do that but we're interested in that measurement the circumference of that circle. So we'll call that Saturn. So now if I was to unravel, if I was to pick this up like a shoestring and unravel it out, that distance is going to go from here to there. So this now is called the diameter because it's the, the length of the whole circle and it's the diameter of Neptune. So the symbol for Neptune, so Neptune's even further out and it's going around the Sun and Saturn. So the symbol is a semicircle like that with the cross below. So this is another classic example shown in John Martineau's book of how the planets all exhibit fantastic um, proportions. It's not just necessarily pi, it can also be on the golden ratio, it can be some of the square root harmonics. So it's quite a, um, uh, it's a great way to link we call it heaven and earth, or what we call the celestial transcripts. They all obey um, a divine mathematical code.